So the mangoes are in full season now and I always indulge in making a mango cheesecake at home because it's one of the favorite desserts of my family. Today I'm going to show you how to make a no-bake eggless mango cheesecake made from Britannia cream cheese and hung curd. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this dish. So the first step is to ensure that you have your mango puree ready. What I did was to peel four to five mangoes and then puree them in my mixer grinder. It'll be used in two ways. The first part is to adding it into the Britannia cream cheese as well as a hunkered mixture. And the second one is to use as a topping. So the next step is to crumble our biscuits, which will go into the bottommost layer of our cheesecake. So let me show you how to do that. So I have some Britannia Nutri-Choice biscuits here with me, which I'm just going to go ahead and break and add it into my mini food processor. So now I'm just going to go ahead and make it into a fine powder. Great, now that this is done, I'm going to mix it along with some butter until it becomes like a firm mixture and then keep it aside. So into a mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add in this biscuit mixture, biscuit powder. And we'll add in the butter, softened butter. And I'm going to mix it well until you get a nice coarse crumb mixture. So when you hold it, it'll hold together. And when you break it, it'll break away easily. Okay, so I'm just going to mix it well. So notice that it is uh, perfect right now and I just hold it, it holds very well and when I crack it, it just breaks open very easily and this is exactly how you want it to be. And this is when you get that perfect crust for the cheesecake. Uh, my next step is to layer these into small glass jars because that's how I'm going to be uh, setting my cheesecake in. It's going to be a mango cheesecake jar and then refrigerate this biscuit crumb mixture until we get the cheesecake mixture ready, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to set it into small jars in a bit. So I'm ready to spoon the biscuit crumb mixture into the glass jars. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few spoons at a time. All right, so now that I've added all the biscuit crumbs, I'm going to press it down to set it uh, well at the bottom and we'll refrigerate it for about 10 minutes uh, while we make our cheesecake uh, mixture. And after that, once it's set, we will add our cheese layer on top of this to make a nice cheesecake. Great. When it comes to cheesecakes, I always use Britannia cream cheese. The Britannia's cream cheese has the right consistency, it's very authentic and has a right balance of creaminess. It is soft, thick and creamy and it spreads like magic, making it perfect for toast. And today, in my cheesecake, it's going to add a great taste. So let me just dive right in and show you how to make the cheesecake mixture, okay? And it's really simple. So to begin making the cheesecake mixture, what you have to do is to use either a hand mixer with a whisk or a stand mixer. It's very important to get nice soft peaks when for the cheesecake mixture, only then it tastes nice, creamy and smooth. So into my mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and add in my Britannia cream cheese. Notice how soft and creamy it is, just beautiful. The next I'm going to add in the hung yogurt. And we'll add in the honey. And then I'm going to add in the mango puree as well. And we're going to whisk all this up until it becomes nice, smooth and comes to a soft peak mixture, okay? And it'll take about three to four minutes on high speed. And once it's done, I'll show you how it looks. So I'm ready to start and whisking my cheesecake mixture. Great, the cheesecake mixture is ready and it's got beautiful soft peaks and I'll just show you that in just a bit. Look how beautiful it looks, exactly how we want it to be. So now I'm ready to spoon it into the glass jars. The biscuit is already setting inside and then top it with some more mango puree and our cheesecake is done. All right, the biscuit is all set and I'm ready to layer my cheesecake. So the first layer is going to be the Britannia cream cheese and the yogurt filling. Great, so now that I've added my Britannia cream cheese filling, I'm going to layer it with some mango puree. So now that I've added the mango puree, I'm going to go ahead and add in the chopped mangoes. Great, so now I'm going to garnish it with some mint leaves and our mango cheesecake will be ready. So now that I've garnished my mango cheesecake, all I have to do is to refrigerate it for about five to six hours minimum or overnight. The longer you refrigerate it, the better the cheesecake sets and tastes as well. Um, so I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe and it was really simple to make and when mangoes are in season, do make this recipe and don't forget to use the Britannia cream cheese. 
because it's absolutely tasty and it's the best cream cheese for this cheesecake. So when you do try this recipe, don't forget to take a snapshot of the cheesecake and share your cheesy kitchen moments with us. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.